my filming. Oh, okay. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my art room. It doesn't look much, but it's still art room. So, a uh, few things first. One second. So, uh, this is my art room. Well, one of my art rooms. This is not my main one, but just the second one. So this is what we're going to do today. So I have this idea, uh, by the way, I read Percy Jackson books. Love them. There were even movies from them, but we don't talk about them. So basically, I have an idea for a Percy Jackson board game. Now, I'm just going to make them out of paper and a little rough card paper. But if anyone has the right materials, they can make it and send it to me on my email. Uh, I think links in the description, please send on that. Also, I might be opening up a new channel. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. Let's start with this one. So, what is my idea? You must be asking. So, it's like a board game with two separate boards. So, imagine these are two separate boards. Now, there'll be five types of boards. I might put the pictures and everything once I've done with the thing. I might do it on the computer. But what my idea is that there are two different boards. Both boards will have spaces around them, except for one of the boards, which will have an end here, start here, and then two ways to go up, and then a third one going from the middle. I'll explain more about it. So first, there'll be cards. Cards containing monsters, which will be your fighting cards. Then bosses, which will be your boss card, which if you're not known. Then fight, and then your demigods, cards which will contain all the demigods well most of the demigods which i can bring and finally uh no wait two one more two more cards then there's special items cards which will contain special items and finally there is a um what do we call that a quest card now i'll explain everything about my idea uh but first uh let's just go over how i'm doing now uh, you can make this board according to anything you want as in you can take this board uh, imagine this is the fighting board it can be related to house of hades my favorite book or it could be a trials of apollo book i don't know it could even be a from the original percy jackson series that's all in your thought you can even take some from the magnus chase or the uh the greek no the roman whatever the part about that so yeah that extra what do you call it? egyptian gods thing i don't know i've never read those uh magnus chase don't really like it but you can make those too but here's my idea now. so how the game works is this is the quest selector there are two board games so first is the quest selector and the second is the quest board game now how it works is that you start here and then you have to roll a dice now this is just a rough one this is not the real one but imagine there are more spaces with more characters this is the finish line nothing over here there's nothing to this much there's no game to this but you choose one path and then as you move on that so imagine if i land one i get percy jackson i mean i land on percy jackson then i have a choice to grab this card of percy jackson i'll explain that later grab the card of percy jackson or move one step ahead now, if I grab the card of Percy Jackson, then I have to, uh, then I take the card and then I have to collect e three more, uh, uh, three more demigods. Now, then I keep moving and two, only two magical items allowed per quest selector. So, imagine a Yankee, Yankee cap here and then uh, his shield over here. So, if I land on both, grab both, then the third item, whatever it be, like the magic flying chariot, if I land on that, then I can move to any space on this board, on the left, this end. Same with this, and you have to uh, make a quest for yourself. Now what works is that you first go through this, then is your second turn for the quest. Then you have a choice. You want to start a quest, or do you want to prepare for the quest? Now if you want to prepare again, you go back to the quest selector, and then you again go through the through the board from one side either this side or this side it's your choice where you want to go through the board again but that's you can only do it once per turn you can choose your quest 
you can even decide to remove all your cards and then put them back and then again do the thing but then your points are not calculated it's a th big process but don't worry about that so uh, in the first turn you can do it twice you can go through year also and year also but once from your second turn onwards you can only do it once that again complicated i'll explain it all later but how it works is you pick up a quest card either from this side or this side or the middle quest which is uh, something else again really complicated game so i'm just gonna brief it up so what happens is that if you choose this there's a monster pile i've not made it here you have uh, there's a certain requirements now uh, this is percy jackson's card stars uh, not really mean how well he is uh, this is all randomly written but otherwise it'd be properly written now stars means that for each quest you need a certain number of stars for example uh, Annabeth and Percy both have seven stars and um, the Yankee camp and Riptide both have three three stars so for a, for the house of Hades for the Tartarus quest you need 20 stars so you if you have all the four things Yankee camp Percy Jackson Annabeth Chase and the Riptide then you can go in but imagine if you don't have then you have two options one to again go to the quest selector and get some things or two you you roll a dice and that many monster cards you place face down then you have your choice to fight either all of them or one of them you can't know what is what but you can choose you open it up then you compare the attacks the hp and then you roll a dice um if the dice is one two three then you win if it's four five they win but you get damage and if it's six you lose and if tartarus they have an extra bonus and everything but that's different i'm still thinking about the dice roll now what uh what else is there is that your goal is to collect as many stars as you can. so imagine i choose the tartarus quest this one and i move so every time there's a monster space i have to roll a dice so imagine i roll a six one two three four five six six monster cards face down my choice is to fight half of them or all of them okay once i am done fighting i add them to my collection adding to my star the other person if you chose this quest if you're younger and you chose the tartarus quest then the other person compulsory has to choose the other quest or the middle quest which is again tell you later even after you finish the quest you can go back to the quest selector shuffle your cards and come back to finish other quests and the only way to do this special middle quest is to finish one of these quests first. I'm still working on the basics. Tell me if you want to really see this game in action. Uh, but I'm uh, wondering if you have any other ideas or anything you want me to add. Please type it in the comments below. Uh, there will be monster cards etc. like I've told you. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. So welcome to the end card. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, credits to me and me, the cameraman and the maker. <laughs> this is just a rough one I whipped out since I don't have that much time. Sorry if this video seems rushed, but if you want to really see me do this, you know what you have to do. Comment section. Or any other idea you have, you can write in the comments or you can email me. But comments is much a better idea. So. Okay, I hope you guys uh, really had fun uh, and uh, stay home, stay safe.